Turn any logo design into any 3D style you want with Adobe Firefly. I'm gonna show you how I create these cool 3D logo images just using one simple text prompt. Let's get into it. So what you wanna do is you wanna to go to text to image and I've created a bunch of different styles here as you can see, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's very simple and you can do it in under 60 seconds. So what you wanna do is you wanna to go to your reference in the composition style on the left-hand side. Firefly image three is fine. You wanna leave it on art. You can do any aspect ratio, but I'm just leaving it on square. Doesn't really matter. But in composition, you wanna upload an image. Now, what I've done is gone ahead and uploaded a recent client project that we finished off. Um, we did a logo design. It was for a project. The brand was called We Grow Gyms. So created this cool G icon, which is one of the logos. So I just locate the PNG file from the logo. As you can see, this is the icon. I'm just clicking that and uploading that. Now you can adjust the strength to make sure that the depth and adherence is as close as possible. I just honestly left it at the middle and it did a pretty fine job. You can obviously increase it a little bit if you want which is fine, but you can leave it in the middle because it did a pretty good job with the, the logo. Make sure that the logo is white version just so it's clear and it can read it easily. Now, what we want to do is you want to find simple isolated images that have like a material or a, a certain um, look to it. You don't want any text or any detailed things. So what I usually do is I'll go to Cosmos or you can go to Pinterest and I'll type something like 3D Organic Moss Isolated. Now we can change this for anything we want, but just for an example, um, if we find like a texture, if I click on this one, like that's pretty cool. It's got a little bit of details though. So you can type something like 3D Q Isolated. And the reason why I type Isolated is so the background is just a simple background because sometimes images will have textures and things in the background, we don't want that. So you can see this dog one is cool or that character, this one, simple character would be nice. You can also type maybe touristic metal or something like that. And you can get some of like these things. Or we can say, for example, you could use something like this. That would work. You could do holographic. So if you think of any material in your head, you know, whether it's frost, glass, um, alloy, aluminium, stone, wood, whatever type of, think of materials that in the real world. And you can type things like that as well. So you can see you get a lot of cool stuff here, a lot of three things you can do. Let's type in stone. We could get some of these ones as well, which I think is really cool. So maybe I like this one. I can just right click and click download. And obviously we're not copying the design, but just using it as a reference. You can also go to something like Dream Machine. I like Luma Labs as well. I'll put a link below, you can try them out. And what I usually do is type in 3D render, and then I'll type in uh, material. So this one I did, as you can see, 3D material, sci-fi, isolated on black, and you get like these cool crystalline, um, you know, weird, organic, natural shapes, alien-like structures, as you can see. You can also create things like this and that they will work as well. So I'll type in 3D render of, say, let's say sand and dust material, or you can say texture, material, 3D render. Those are usually the keywords I use to try and get a, a better detailed model I could image I could use. Cool, so we could probably do this one. I'm just going to generate some more variations. As you can see, that's pretty clean. So maybe we do this one and I can just like download that. Now, cool. Now, once you're in Adobe Firefly, all you gotta do to get that desired result is you wanna go to style, upload the image. So let's upload one of those ones we just uploaded. I'm gonna double click and all you gotta do is type in 3D logo. Now, if you type in a 3D logo and you start typing other things, it just gets confused and doesn't really work. And also if you type in white background or black background, it doesn't really work either. So typically I just do 3D logo and press generate and that's how I get these best results. And then what you wanna do is just keep iterating and create more variations to get more detail, then upscale it. And that's all you gotta do. So boom, you can see it's used our logo and it's created this stone effect, which is super cool. And then if you, if you really like, maybe maybe we like this one, we can just go to edit and we can generate similar. And then what I'll do is I'll take this and go into Photoshop, edit and do generate a fill. Um, or you can take it to whatever editing app you have and you can edit there. So you have some different versions there. Let's do another reference. You can adjust the visual intensity and strength as well. So I typically leave it pretty high. Let's go and upload this sand image here and I'll just type in 3D logo. So it's extracting the style from that image you gave it and it's adding it to your composition or that image that you uploaded of your logo. Boom, cool. So we've got this nice sand one, which is awesome. 
let's do another one and you can literally generate so many different designs that just make your logo stand out and then you can do like a simple video on it which is pretty cool we did a balloon one this is the one with the moss oh cool that looks awesome got a nice glass with the reflective colors very vibrant looks super cool and then what we can do we can just download this go to photoshop now i'm going to drag this in you know and we know there's nothing new you can here you can just do generate fill so i'm just going to select the background actually you can just go select subject select the right layer click select subject and it should select the logo sometimes that won't work properly boom there we go and what we want to do is we want to invert the selection so it selects everything around the logo then i'll click generate a fill and then you know we could say you know some texture or we could just click generate and let's see what it does it does a pretty good job when you don't type in a prompt uh, in photoshop and then it'll just generate some different uh, backgrounds here it's got some reflections uh, we can also type something and say um sci-fi landscape dark cinematic now press generate cool that's kind of cool yeah nice so then you can just create you know some weird stuff like this and yeah i think it's pretty cool so give it a try i recommend downloading some nice images and then playing around with it and you can literally turn any logo into any 3d style or shape um, as long as you do it with this method if you want to learn a bit more about ai i do have a course called ai magic which i have on skillshare i will put a link in the description below you get one month free skillshare if you're a new user and I do recommend taking my logo design for beginners course that will help you out get creating logos if you're not into it. But yeah, really appreciate it. If you want to see some more AI tutorials, I got a video here where I designed a brand using AI.